everyone this is my first game of my master promos and this is uh it's gonna be quite a uh eventful and emotional promos here because i have not hit masters in this server for over two years now so i'm really excited to pull it back and hit masters today or will i lose well hopefully we don't lose because uh you know that would that probably make me cry i don't want to cry all right we're gonna be starting off here with our krugs and then maybe looking at grabbing a gank on bot lane i haven't fully decided yet you just want to keep an eye on that mini map like we see that they're kind of fighting here and honestly i could probably make this work oh nope they're they're they got it they got it they don't need me and that's something you want to keep in mind if they got it you just want to move on because if you don't move on you're actually wasting a lot of your time so i'm gonna go ahead and go for these raptors at the end of the day the best way to climb is to min max your time keep an eye on the mini map and don't blame your team. That's how you do it, right there. All right, we're pulling these raptors over. This raptor would be dead if I used an extra auto attack on it. Talia pushing mid, but we're keeping the clear steady. We're keeping it steady. Uh, looks like Jarvan's invading. I'm down to do something about that. I'm not three though. That was really ballsy. <laughs> that was a very ballsy invade by Jarvan there. I think what he's probably thinking in his mind right now is uh, mid and top diff. And you know what, Jarvan? I don't blame you, man. I blame my mid and top too. Anything to make it not my fault, make me happy. Okay, so we're going to finish clearing this blue. Oh, don't lose patience. It was really close to losing his patience there. Crab is secured. Jarvan deciding a uh, paid actor. Jarvan's a paid actor. He knew... He knew what he wanted here. And let's kill this Gromp. My body's ready. My body's ready. Gromp is secured. Well, it should be secured. It'll be secured soon. Okay. And now we can choose to go back or we can stop by and gank a land. There is a double buff for Necton here. We have 12 CS on Jarvan. Jarvan's most likely over here, which means his Krugs are up. He would go down here because of the camp, right? So his raptors and his krugs are up. We're going to do both. And hit this to apply some of that red buff. Yeah, so it was down there. Looks like he is on his way to his raptors. Oh, he's on, he's on his way to top. I'm just going to go ahead and walk around in his jungle. I'm having a good time, guys. I'm having a good time. <laughs> We're playing the hide from Jarvan game here. Let's put a ward over here. Oh. Can I beat him? I'm not even sure if I beat him. I don't have a teammate. Ah, I couldn't alpha dodge that. I'm gonna die to mid lane, aren't I? Oh, she ignited me. <laughs> that's tragic, man. That's tragic. All right, that's fine. I shouldn't, dude. I just did what Jarvan did, but backwards. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna go with the uh, mid and top diff card here. Like, if my laners were willing to invade with me, that would have went fine. Like, that's clearly the issue here. Um, we know that the crab's gone because top side crab is spawning. And dragon is something I don't like to approach early. I mean, with the noon quiver, you can kind of approach the dragon. But I like to keep my options open for the Rift Herald. But we're going to go from Krugs up into here. And then we can go for the top side jungle. We see Jarvan in the bot lane. Trying to keep an eye on that mini map here. Oh man, they're, they're like pushing a little bit. Don't push too hard. I mean, I don't want to spend my time going bot lane in case Jarvan backs off. Like, I have all this farm in the top side, including top side crab, right? There's no point here in me going bot. Like, I just lose too much going for this. I mean, I have a good feeling that Jarvan would wait there forever. I'd wait there forever. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll go for... I'll grab his uh, raptors. So what we need to do here, if we go into here, we can get more information about whether or not Jarvan is camping bottom, right? 
Uh, Talia is going bottom. Right, so we don't want to... I mean, dude, they need a... That was a good try. I mean, I'm securing his jungle here. No big deal. Get, getting some value. I'll go for his Krugs next. He probably got my red buff. Like, you just got to commit. Because if I run all the way back there and he took my red buff, it was a complete waste, right? And judging by how Talia is over there, he definitely took my red buff, right? And Talia, or Akali's Mia. Akali's probably looking for me over here. Oh, no, she not. I don't want to show myself. So we're pulling these Krugs a little bit. Oh, I had the minions might have seen me. Oh, this is rough. We're, we're struggling with these Krugs, guys. Double strike. Alright, we're going down for the red buff. I mean, I'm just trying to secure whatever I can here. Like, Jarvan took my camp, so I gotta take his. We don't know where Tally is. Okay. That's an interesting flash, honestly. I can probably kill her too. She has no uh, ulti or anything. I'll take it. All right, that wave is gonna push. That is absolutely huge for Renekton. And also, I have enough to buy my Kraken now if I sit in Fountain and I wait for like 50 gold. Okay, so I just heard the Rift Herald open its eye in the Fog of War. You can hear it, right? You hear it? So he hit it twice. Nobody seems to care about him for some reason. Like, Renekton should care. Victor should care. Everybody should care about this. Like, what? where are they going? Why are we not stopping this? We're just, like, they just gave him that free... Um... Yeah. All right. Well, his raptors are up. Maybe I can go in and make it a little invade. The thing about invading is if you have a ward too. If you have a ward as well, you can put that in there to get some info on what they're doing. Akali, where are you going, homie? He's going around that way. I'm gonna grab this. Okay. Order must be enforced. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Mm. <laughs> um. Oh, if he got his full combo off, I would have went in on that. Oh. I got this. Oh, dang, dude. That's rough. On that back, I should have picked up a sweeper, but I forgot. Victor just kind of chilling in mid lane. You know, I'm not going to hate him for it. If that's what he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. No biggie. Uh, we're going to grab ourselves a blue buff. And a gromp. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we can path our way down towards bot. We got 30 seconds on that red. I'm actually almost two levels up on this Jarvan. Like, I'm actually really close. So, I mean, overall the game's going really well. I'm feeling really confident with how the game's going. Uh, anytime I have a decent amount of money like this, I know that we're not, like, super in trouble here. It's working quite well. Oh, they're going to try to rift this. They're not going to try. They are. Okay. 
Um. Yeah, so I alphaed early because I thought a Mumu was going to ulti as I walked up, right? I wasn't aware that he didn't have ulti. Because typically when you walk up on an Amumu like that, they'll just hit R. They won't even give you a chance to alpha. So in this case, I immediately decided to alpha. Recalibrating. Oh, they got the first dragon. Rough. I guess I get us this one, guys. I guess I get us this one. But that worked out really well. We got six kill participation. Secured. I didn't have red buff for that. Uh, but yeah, we're getting quite fed. And at this point, we might want to consider some boots. Or Blade and Marine King, of course. Blade and Marine King is pretty meta on ye. Uh, we're pretty significantly ahead of Jarvan now. I mean, we're ahead in items. We're ahead in levels. I'm actually surprised that his level is managing to keep up. He was like two under me, and now he's only one under me. And I'm taking a while to, to level up here. Top side respawning. But I probably should back and buy. We actually have enough to buy the Vampire Scepter. Like if we back now, we can get the Vampire Scepter and we can get a pair of Berserker Greaves, right? So we can double up on our purchase. So we'll grab this, grab this, Sweeper. And now we can start running towards top. While my bot lane's over here, we got uh, Crab in about 20 seconds. So it takes you about 20 seconds to get to here from the fountain, right? So we could pivot there after Gromp, or we can go sit and wait for like three seconds or so. Mm. What's up, Victor? How you doing, homie? I have secured the crab. And also, Jarvan is a jungler that I really love playing against a G. It just honestly it just feels like free kills. His abilities are so telegraphed and easy to deal with. So anytime I see a Jarvan, I'm usually pretty happy with that. Jarvan going top. Like, I do know that it used to be kind of meta back in the day, but, uh, I don't know, the champion's a bit outdated. They need to make it so that his ulti, like, roots people, right? Not root, but, like, sticky. Like, the singe thing. It should be, like, a singe thing, right? Because as it is right now, literally every time you ult somebody, they just dash out of it. It's the most obnoxious thing ever. Um, I don't really want to dive that. Dude, it's an Akali. Okay, I mean, he wants to. Ooh, how'd that kill me? Ooh, he lived, though. He lived. That's cool. That's cool. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh, bot lane got doubled. Wait, mid lane died. Look, everybody else died. What? It's a rough life, guys. That kind of put them back in the game. And honestly, like, other than Akali... I don't feel like anybody's super threatening. I mean, maybe. They have a Moo Moo. If he gets like a really good ulti, he can be a problem. They have Kalista. If she gets fed enough, she can hard carry. Uh, I don't care about Jarvan, but like if I'm not careful, he might knock me up. Talia's going to get a Zanya's. Akali's going to get a Zanya's. There's definitely some threats in the enemy team. Like, I feel like it's an easier game, but it's still a bit threatening. They do have some threatening picks here. Oh, uh, they're going for the rift. Oh, they are full deep in that rift, but we don't have bot lane. We're going to have to 3v4 this. I mean, I'm down to 3v4 this, but... I'll just go grab that. Oh, what in the world? Dude, he hooked her to me. He actually killed me. Well, you know, that was worth it. I also picked up Rift Herald. I'm glad to see Jinx finally showed up, but I'll take it. Well, next up, we got 22 seconds on that dragon. So I'm going to make my way over there. We also have Rift Herald. Uh, we almost finished that Blade and Ring King. That would have been huge. If we could have finished it, maybe I could have sold boots for it, but... If we could have finished that Blade and Marine King, that'd be huge in the next fight. I don't think a Moomoo is going to have ulti in the next fight. Um, I think we do Dragon before we do Rift. Alright.
Does she have Zanyas? No. Oh, that timing on that was so bad. Oh, come on, man. Oh, I'm having such a hard time. Oh, no. Oh, that was just such bad timing. Oh, how's my team gonna do? Oh, man. Oh, he got him. Oh, I think I think he can hold on to this. I mean, the only problem for him really here is Jarvan. Mm. And that was rough. I couldn't get to the guy, and he had his knock up, and life is hard. So Akali is turning out to be quite the problem as predicted. Tally as well. Uh, we need to put some focus on some magic resist items. Death Dance would also be nice because Death Dance is Death Dance, but... Uh, I got 25 seconds left on Rift. I guess I just go release our bottom and then we take the aggro into the top side. 15 seconds. Now the big problem in that dragon fight is I couldn't just turn on the dragon because it's a 8,000 health earth dragon that takes forever to kill. Um, yeah, we can we can make some work happen. Oh, Prowler's Claw Renekton. There is a chance a Kali comes through here. Wait, how is she not visible? Oh my god, she almost killed him. Oh, I didn't get the ward. What the heck? Okay, are we not doing this? Like... Jinx? We're still alive on their team. Callista? Callista and a Mumu. Yeah, there's a ward here. Alright, perfect. Secured. And my team managed to pick that up as well. Oh. That was such a waste of a stopwatch, homie. Like, why, like, I think that's why a lot of people think Zanya's isn't that strong. Because they use their Zanya's like that. Like, it's just the most stupid way. Like, if you don't have a team around you, then your stopwatch isn't going to do anything the majority of the time. Unless you're, like, you're waiting for skill cooldowns, right? But, um, you know. More power to him. Zanya's coming in next on Talia. Sonya's coming in on the other dude. Well, I misplayed there. Okay, so my team managed to clear out my entire jungle while I was dead, and that's another reason you don't want to die, guys. Because when you respawn, you ain't going to have no camps. Don't even think about it, Victor. This is my gromp. Uh, we got about a minute and a half on the dragon. The enemy has two dragons secured already. I didn't realize they even had that prio on the dragon to begin with. It's just Akali's going to be the big problem. We got our first dose of some magic resist. Akali and Talia will both be a problem because they'll get Zanyas. Uh, Amumu's also working on a Zanyas. They're going to have three Zanyas on their team. Unfortunately. Looks like we're going to push in. I have flash up for a nice solid engage. Could always use it on maybe like Callista or something. We do have Baron. Bro, I am I am struggling. Okay, guys, like <laughs> Jesus man. Everybody has Flash and Zanya. Wait, he had Shroud up still? I don't have E anymore. I used it. Alright, um I don't have E for like ten seconds. I think I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Dude, I alpha I alpha Oh my god, I alpha dude. Oh my god, no way. I honestly think if I managed to alpha dodge to Jarvan knock up there, I could have actually wiped their team. Um had my E up and everything. It's just when I dod when I didn't dodge at and Natalia got the combo off of it, it just really, really rough situation. They have three dragons now. It's gonna be a rough game, guys. Rough game here. All right, let's go up here. It's still winnable, very winnable. Akali is the biggest problem though, of course. She's always a problem, guys, she's always a problem. 
Looks like they're heading up towards the red. Jarvan has caught up to me in level. In fact, he might even be passing me in level. And I'm still short on this wit's end. He has two items. He's getting a Guardian Angel, so it'll be like Zanya's, Zanya's. At least Akali didn't buy the Guardian Angel yet. Like if Akali gets a Zanya's, it's kind of like it's kind of game over for me. Like it'll it'll take a miracle to win if Akali has her Zanya's. I'm just sweeping around. Oh, that's warded. Yeah, unfortunately, Jarvan could also spot me with the sweeper too when he walks in that bush. Nothing around here. I got this. Perfect. Now I have enough for wits. I'm gonna actually grab bot. Um, I mean, I don't know what she's doing out there on her lonesome, but uh, I'll take it. Um, I do have enough for wits, but I'm gonna actually push him bot. Dude, they don't have Victor. They're trying to fight without Victor. Like, even if I'm there, I don't have Highlander. Yikes, dude. Yikes, bro. This is barren time. This is barren time. I need to go get this Witsend. So we get Witsend here. Do I have enough for Stopwatch? No, I don't. If I had enough for Stopwatch, I'd 100% buy it. But at this point, guys, we got to get the Death Dance. Until we get enough for Stopwatch. Or Gunzu's. Our choices at this point is Gunzu's, Death Dance, uh, Guardian Angel. If I had enough for Stopwatch, I would have just bought Stopwatch there. But I'm a little short. Uh, Victor probably wants a blue, huh? Alright, whatever. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, oh. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, she has no Zanyas. If that hook went through, we had that. Alright, this is not good for me. Yeah, you better run. Oh, baby. Enemy team just... Oh, that is huge for us. Oh, that is huge for us. Oh, that is even more huge for us. Ooh, that was great. Everything about that fight was just great. Oh, we got a Baron every kill, and we only lost Renekton. I'm surprised we even lost Renekton. I was there to cover him on his stopwatch. But you see how effective that stopwatch from Renekton is when he has a teammate there? Completely denying the enemy team any way of uh, coming back there. Oh my god, what? Yo, I'll take those. Yo, give me those. Is this the Amumu bait? <laughs> Dude, that's 90 gold. I'll take it. Like, jeez. All right. Let's not let's not pretend that you wouldn't have done that too, guys. Let's not pretend. Um. Well, we have enough for the stopwatch now, which I think is huge. So in this case, we should definitely 100% buy a stopwatch. I'm on top of a ward, but that's okay. So in this case, we buy the stopwatch because there's a giant dragon fight. We buy this, and then we get tenacity potion for a Mimu. So we're buying two different items at the same time, and we bought a pot, which seems pretty inefficient, and it kind of is. But the reason why is we're kind of going for this Hail Mary on the dragon, right? Like, we want to make sure that they don't get the soul. Want to make sure they don't get the soul, and we also would like to try and clean up the game afterwards. Look at all that. Dude, I hate this item. Look at this. It's just stopwatch Zanya, stopwatch Zanya. Like, you know what I mean? Like, look at it. Stopwatch, Guardian Angel, Zanya, stopwatch. Uh oh, my team's fighting. I mean, I'm gonna secure dragon, probably. Meditating, 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 meditating. Oh, why did I even Zanya is that? I don't even know. I was scared. I was scared of the burst. Ooh, this Blitz got some good hooks. He called me a dog earlier in Vietnamese, apparently. But, uh, you know what? That doesn't change the fact that those were some good hooks, all right? And this is uh, looking like a nice little push here. 
All right. Get it done. Get it done, team. And that right there, guys, is our first game in our master promos. And, of course, it's a victory. Okay, so game two was a loss because I got placed in mid lane. But you know what? Autofill happens. Let's move to the next one. Everyone, this is game three of my master promos. Last game got me emotional, guys. I hate playing mid, and it did me dirty. Rito did me dirty. They wanted to make this a close master promos and a difficult one. And let's be honest, guys. If I got jungle every game, the game would just be too easy. Right? So, I actually, uh, Riot did us a favor. Okay, so we know where Darius is. I put down that ward. I was going to get a sweeper, but Misfortune stopped my back after I put down the ward. Tragic. Tragic and sad. Now the question is, can I make a gank for that top side? Probably not. Also, I did my Krugs in the wrong order. When you're smiting, you want to make sure... Dude, I hate when it resets. I can't stand it. This is going to kill my clear, guys. This is going to kill my clear. Yikes. Okay. Well, we're good. We're good. We're just going to, you know, we're going to be a little bit slower in the clear thanks to that Krug reset, but... Is what it is. I really wish they would just make Krugs easier to kill. I heard that like next season we should see some like easier jungle changes or whatever. So maybe that'll uh, do a little bit better for the patience bars because right now the patience system is kind of a pain in the butt. Okay. We'll grab this one. All right, we got them both. So at this point, about 250 is usually when you want to be starting the blue buff. And as you can see, guys, I am not starting the blue buff. <laughs> I, in fact, I am starting the wolves. So. Ooh, Callista with the double. Oh, no. Bro, I have no prio for this crab. But I might be able to go for this. I am. Secured. <laughs> <laughs> you mad, bro? All right, all right. Secured, secured. Did he mad enough that he came like walking after me? All right. Uh, <laughs> nobody wants that word from me, Alistar. Oh, oh, come on, bro. Don't take it personally. This is nothing, man. Nothing personal, bro. Nothing personal. Now that Darius, so that Darius, he be he be feeling that crab still. We'd be feeling that yoink. He shouldn't have smited it early. I'm just saying. That's kind of on him, not on me. I'm just doing what a jungler does, you know? I'm taking my objective. Um, You know, I'm going to alpha this. I was thinking about not alpha striking that. But at the same time, I feel like I kind of want to alpha strike it. Alright, I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm healing. All right, we can go really deep because I'm here. The enemy doesn't want to go too far, right? Oof. Oof. My ignite wasn't good enough, guys. Oh, it was so close. Oh, this is tragic. All right, I guess we swap over to our Oracle lens. And I am running a Duskblade build this game. So I did feel like the enemy was squishy enough to warrant it. So this is what we're getting. We could have bought a pair of Berserker Greaves as a first item as well. But, you know, um, on a day's work, on a day's work. We're, we're just, we're going to deal with it. We're going to deal with it. Obviously, the more competitive build shut is down. Kraken. Ooh, he got to shut down on Darius. Oh, he got to shut down too. Oh, I just canceled my auto on accident. Yeah, see, this is why we need attack speed. I attack so slow. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this. Smacking this. Come on, baby. Oh. Oh, baby. Okay. We got this. Now we're going to head over here to this Urgot. Yo, he going hard. What the heck? Did I just cancel, like, every auto? I just canceled, like, everything. <laughs> okay. Well, that went well. No, there's too many, bro. There's too many. Oh, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. I wish I had a pair of tier 2 boots there, but actually, if we looked at how much damage I was chunking on them right now, I actually think that build was pretty good. Right? Like, it actually did a lot of damage. Ooh, that flash. I'm not going to lie. That was a pretty good flash, because if he didn't flash out, he was dead. Right? Like, 
I would have been creeping up. Ari would have been creeping up. Blade and body. Mm -mm -mm. Um, singed? I'm not sure about this one, home dog. Well, I don't think Singe is sure about it either, to be honest with you guys. All right, a six to five game here. It's, oh, okay, a seven to five game here. It's coming along, it's coming along. I need level six. I need level six. Oh, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, baby, give it to me. All right, I'm coming. Okay, all right. That was a little bit ballsy. I wish I was six. Oh, I'm going deep. Oh, that's her mid laner. I thought she was her AD carry. Okay, I hit her out of her stride. Oh, oh boy. Um. Um, this is good. This is good. This is really good. Oh, that was great. Oh, that was great. Oh, the punch. Oh, 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 oh. We can kill that guy. Alistar stuns him. He cues him. He knocks him back into us. He knocks him back into us. Are he dead. Oh, dude, the Alistar MVP, dude. All right. I'm not even going to go for that. Dude, that was amazing. I think he did. I don't know what he's saying. Tai Kwa Tui Control. I don't know if he's like hyping himself up right now or if he's flaming me because I think I'm he thinks I'm flaming him. But uh he's a he's a god. Yeah, he's a god. I just trying to make sure he didn't take the shutdown because then he might think I'm flaming him. I mean, well done. I mean, okay, he has three deaths. You know, he's not doing like super great, but like he's really paying off here. And look at this. You remember last game, guys, if you watched it, that I said I feel like I get like no items when I play in mid, right? Compared to jungle. Look at this. I already got my mythic done and it's eight and a half minutes, right? In the mid game, it took me like 14 minutes. Granted, I did get a pair of boots, but. Oh, what happened, man? Unfortunately, losing to Rift Herald is, is pretty huge. Also, I have this law. If you ever watch any of my streams, I have this law. It's basically called Law of Callista. It doesn't matter if she's on your team or the enemy team. A Callista will always get fed. I don't know how. Like, she has a 50% win rate, right? Which means that she doesn't always get fed. But anytime I see her in any of my games, she gets fed every time. Maybe, maybe it's like even if she gets fed, she still loses games. Because, dude, I'm telling you guys, she always gets fed. Like, admit it. Like... Anybody that's ever had a Callista in your game, she always gets fed. It's crazy. Also, this thing's really hard to kill with Dustblade. And it's really unfortunate that they got that Rift. Man, I was so close. Yeah, but the Rift is uh, its a pretty big snowball technique. So losing that Rift is kind of going to make me a little sad, guys. All right. Um... I got this. I got this real nice. Ooh, that's how we do it. Securing those kills. Um, now I'm going to continue with my clear upwards. And we should be in good shape. Mm. Well, the pros always prioritize Rift over Dragon. Um... Like, the thing is, is, like, Dragon gives you 25 gold. Like, here, let's actually look at this. Let's use this game as an example. Dragon will give you 25 gold plus whatever effect that the Dragon gives you. So, let's say that it's a Fire Dragon, okay? And it gives, like, 4% AP and AD. If you have, let's say, this guy, 74, you gain 3 AP from a Fire Dragon. And that's on every player on your team, right? On average, something like that. So, overall, that Dragon's worth 15 AP. So the dragon is worth 25 gold plus, you know, I mean, the support doesn't really use it much, but where, where the heck is 15 AP? Um, 300 gold. So it's about 325 gold. To put it into perspective, a Rift Herald is worth 300 gold by itself, and, and it gives you plates, and, and it gives you, oh goodness. And it gives you tempo, 
right? It actually gives you straight tempo. So that is an example of why the Rift is just better, right? But actually, surprisingly, when I look at the dragon, thinking about how much gold that gives you, it's actually pretty good, huh? Like, now that I kind of think about it, like, when you look at all that AP at this point in the game, it does kind of scale, right? Like, it ends up being like 500 gold worth of AP, but still, it also gives the enemy objective bounties or denies the enemy objective bounties as well, right? So if you take the dragon, it's worth a lot of money towards objective bounties. I don't know exactly how much it's worth, but it's worth a good amount of money. Um, like, I don't know how Riot values it. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. I popped there, guys. I actually just straight popped. That Dust Blade slow came in clutch. Oh, no, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You know what? I wanted to push that wave, but MF's going to be a little stickler about it. I'll get out of there. But that Dust Blade slow was crazy. Now, see, you got to think of it from that direction, right? I just, I just feel. And also, like, you got to realize the dragon also puts the gold onto crappy players as well that you don't want to have the gold compared to rift where kind of all the gold gets funneled into you you get all the gold you get all the tempo and whatever lane you want and you get all the plates in my opinion i just think rift is just better because games are about ending them early and the rift herald does enable you to do that and taking out those towers as well you know i love the cdr from uh from Dustblade. Like, CDR is so nice on ye. I don't care what they do to nerf CDR. Having a shorter ulti, shorter E, shorter W, it's all worth it. I don't even run Blue Smite on ye anymore. It used to be whenever you're running, um, is he bot again? Yeah, he's bot again. That means his whole top side's probably up, unless our got took one. Okay, Law of Callista, guys. Okay, Urgot actually took the Grom. Like, it's actually, it's just so nice. It is actually just so nice. Very nice. Mmm. Okay, we're gonna secure this. And now we're gonna back and grab ourselves a Blade of Rune King. And we got the Blade and the Rune King. We're going to grab ourselves a Dagger. Maybe go for the Berserker Greaves. Yeah, another benefit of grabbing the Dragon, in my opinion, is definitely with the Dragon Soul. If you can get an early Dragon, you can help prevent the enemy from getting a Dragon Soul, right? Like, when an enemy has a potential Dragon Soul, it really forces you to play a certain way. And... Um, Alright, I'm going. I'm down. I'm down to go for this. Let's go. Like, right, just relieving that pressure of the Dragon Soul is pretty huge. Because Dragon Soul is definitely pretty good. I'd like to do my full clear here. All my camps are respawning. This is like, this is heaven right here. This situation I'm experiencing with Master e is like a heaven situation. Where, like, all your camps are just spawning at the same time here. It's pretty great. They're all fighting in mid. Do I have Rift? No, I do not. For some reason, I keep thinking I have the Rift. Um, I mean, I did miss it. It is up. I can go get it if I want it. If I want it. Callista took my red. I think they can just go for that Rift. Um... Uh, raptors let's see what we got here raptors are on the agenda my friends we have the crab are on the agenda yeah I want this crab don't you worry child don't you worry I got like two seconds on that uh, yes I may have just used my smite on the crab and you may be like cow set but how are you gonna secure the rift herald uh, by praying or I'll just let Calista do it. <laughs> Why not? Calista can do it. 
My E cooldown. Man, I wish they didn't nerf E cooldown. It's not that big. Especially considering I have... Okay, very nice. Shelly pushing in that tower. Man, I love Dustblade. I actually really love Dustblade. It's just so... Mm, so crisp. So crisp. Yo, how far... How deep can we go? How deep can we go? How deep can we go? Ooh, oh, almost. My bad. I'm going to give him the happy face so he can know how happy I am I threw there. <laughs> he has his own be happy emoji. I like it. So, guys, now we have to start looking at what we're going to build. We have Gunju's Rage Blade that we could build, which is actually really nice whenever you want to go, like, kind of on hitty. I mean, they're a little tanky on the Darius and Urga. I think that actually... Gunju's Rage Blade would be a very solid pick right here. So we grab this, this, this. And I'm going to drop the boots and finish the Gunju's. Like, right here. 18 minutes in. Like, in my last game, I was finishing Kraken and I had a little bit of my second item, huh? Okay. Oh, come on, man. You should ping your item. Okay. I mean. Okay. Feels bad, man. I mean, I know it's a good... Dude, wait. He almost has four items. He almost has four items, guys. That's pretty insane. Looks like uh, Darius is going that way. I've got to go around for this. His team will come down to try and help him, and I'll be here to stop it. Are you kidding me, homie? Dude, you just want everything. You just want everything, homie. Darius is probably coming down and around. I mean, at this point, he should have enough for the Titanic. He still doesn't have enough. 125 gold? Mm. But yeah, I think that if you... Oh my god, dude. I do think that... <laughs> yeah, Shadow Flame can purchase. Okay, yeah, that makes it better. I still think that, like, if you're in solo queue and you want to just improve in that way, you should just go for the Rift Herald. Rift Herald over the Dragon. 100%. 100% pretty much like again unless you can sneak that dragon pretty much only exception but dragons like they're too strong and they take too long to kill now rift herald has that huge damage that you do in the back especially if you're playing master yi your alpha strike does such a good job of securing that yeah that guy walked too close to the tower I apologize <laughs> I apologize the misfortune you walked a little too close to the tower, bro. That's my tower. <laughs> That's my tower. All right, I'm, I'm just going to run out of here. I mean, we know that Darius is bot. I'm also going to be restoring my mana that I just wasted on Meditate. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, well, my team should be able to pick up Baron off of that. Um, I mean, it was pretty ambitious, you know. It was a, it was a good time. It was a good time there. And uh, my team should hopefully go grab Dragon next. All right, watch my team try to do the blue is an actual pain in the butt here. Callista wants my red. Sometimes it's okay to concede things if you just don't want your team to be angry, right? So we are picking up the stopwatch and then probably a guardian angel as our next item. Alright, um... You can have the blue. Wait, did Alistar take it? Wait, Alistar took the blue. <laughs> what a disaster. What a disaster. All win. Alright, I'm down. Let's go help Callista. We don't want him to overextend by himself. He also has a stopwatch. He's an entire item up on me. Like, straight up. He's an entire item up. I mean, it makes sense. He does have 17 kills. I forgot how to use the emoji wheel, guys. I don't want to accidentally... Oh, there it is. Okay. 
Yeah, I didn't want to accidentally use an emoji, you know? Or, like, use my stopwatch. Mmm. <laughs> I love that B. I love that B emoji. B emojis are where it's at. Okay, Sinja's going deep. Chill, bro. I don't know about that one, bro. It's just an MF. Like, nobody cares about her. <laughs> nobody cares about that MF, homie. Um, we're running out of minions. Ow! Ow! Um, guys, what are you doing? Just <laughs> They're too greedy. Oh, he got through the gate. Oh my god. Bro. That tower just wrecked me. Okay, it is time to work together with my teammates again. We got this, guys. We're not gonna get greedy. We're not gonna throw. I mean, we need to like push a lane out, to be honest. Like, we need to push out this and this. Like, we push them. Perfect. Okay. So, now this wave's going to push. Ari's looking for something. Um, hmm. Okay, wait. Did Ari just cut the wave for me? Or is she just... Is she trying something sneaky? She's trying something a little sneaky. It's a little sneaky. But I wasn't sneaky enough. I mean, I appreciate her effort. This MF is really annoying at clearing minions. Um, I don't like he. No like he. Where is our push on bot lane? No push on bot lane, huh? You get, by the way, you guys like the cooldown and meditate? It's so short. Um, by the way, a lot of you guys may be wondering why I chose for Ignite in this game. The idea behind Ignite is that so I can bring Dustblade and still kill Darius and Urgot. That, that is basically the idea of the Ignite here. Darius and Urgot, uh, they're pretty hard to kill uh, when you're going Dustblade because you don't have enough damage. So the Ignite is my effort to remedy the damage. All right, yeah, let's go dragon. We got to get the soul. I mean, honestly, I think this is like the better dragon, but the soul itself isn't like super great, but I might be biased because I am a Yi main and I am immune to the slows. <clears throat> oh, looks like that guy's pushing. Urgot just yoinked Ari. Um, folks, are we throwing away dragon here? Like... Uh huh. I mean, I'm gonna keep rolling on it. You guys just do whatever you're doing. I don't. I don't care. Okay. Well, just like that, I got us the dragon. The dragon soul has been acquired. Now I'm gonna go do Baron because I can. I mean, my team's pushing pretty hard, but like, I don't think it's a super power play here. Okay. Um, I don't know about that one, guys. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't know why they're Mia pinging me. I got us the Dragon Soul. Now I'm getting us Baron. <laughs> like, he thinks that we're going to win there, but I, I don't know. I think that we were struggling to push in as is, right? All right. And we're going to have to leave that red buff there or Callista's going to get all angry at us. I would love to get a Dust Blade. Or, sorry, Death Dance. I mean, I would love Dust Blade too, but a Death Dance would be really great here. I'm, she might run through here. She didn't. Oh, is that Darius? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's their tank, guys. It's their tank. <laughs> uh -huh. All win. I mean, I'm down. I got 46 seconds on ulti, though. Wait, come on, man. If there's anybody except the Urgot. Though, honestly, bro, considering his items, he, he is not legal to be that tanky. 
It is not legal to be that tanky at all. I mean, we got a Baron in every wave, right? Putting a Baron in every wave just makes a nice solid push. And we also have the Dragon Soul, finally. Like, I think he has something. We should do all five, but we need to push out these waves and then do all five on one of these waves. Because otherwise, we're never going to be able to push, right? Oh, I messed up. <sighs> I messed up. I could have I could have played that better if I had pointed my alpha strike in a different direction. Oh my god, he's gonna survive? Oh no. Nope. Um Callista, you are a little deep, homie. Oop, oop, it worked. Nice, and that right there is looking like a good game. And we just won our second game. So we are now two wins, one loss. All right, here we are in game number four of the master promos. I hope you guys have been following along. We are having a great time. It's looking good. A 2-1. It's everybody's promo dream. I'm sure you guys would love coming into a game like this, knowing that you're, uh, you're sitting on a 2-1. Now, here's the enemy team comp. They have Evelyn, Ari, Gragas, Ziri. So much magic damage. But I am running another Duskblade build this game. This actually would not be a bad game to play Tank Master Yi. Straight up. Like, we would be able to lower the duration of a lot of the CCs they have. Oh my god, I should have went... I should have went Sunfire. And if you go Sunfire, you want to go Lethal Tempo as well. Oh, because you stay in fights long enough to stack it. Oh man, guys, I messed up. Well, you know, you know what they say, guys. Mistakes are sometimes made. Wow, that was like a perfect amount of clear for the Raptors. I'm pretty sure I saved an auto on that. Ooh, Ziri kill here. I'm still, I think I'm going to go for the Dust Blade anyway. But if you're ever in this kind of game situation here, definitely look at um, getting the tanky build here. I really think the tanky build would outperform the dust blade. All right, he needs me in mid. I'm coming. Uh, I need to use a pot. Put a ward. Coming around. I have hail of blades for maximum killage here. <laughs> the BM, dude. The BM. Okay. We gotta hope the crab runs my way. Ooh, she's gonna miss this wave because she has to push. Ha <laughs> ha It's my crab. <laughs> I want him to know I'm the boss of that crab. That was my crab. He has to know it. Wait, did he walk down here? I have a ward there. He's got to know. He got to know who the boss of that crab is. Unfortunately, Evelyn is a little bit ahead of me in CS. I don't even know how, man. She doesn't have that fast of a clear. Gwen died. I mean, the thing is, is a bursty build works really well into heroes like the Evelyn. I'm telling you, though, I really wish. Really, really, really wish. Oh, my God. I just canceled my back. I really wish that I had purchased. Man, if I didn't buy the pot either. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and grab this. We're going to sell this potion. Grab this. Grab this. I should have maybe bought boots. I don't know. Everything's going wrong. I'm falling apart, guys. I'm falling apart. These uh, these games are really doing me dirty here. Ooh, what is he doing? He's scaring me is what he's doing. Evelyn's level 4. Oh, he did. That's a rip. This Amumu seems like the kind of guy that would tilt really easily. I mean, I'd prefer a traditional mid laner like Ari, to be honest, but we're gonna we're gonna give that Amumu a, or sorry that Nunu a chance. I really want to get Rift. Uh, he, st he said G, so he's probably like complaining about lack of ganks because Ari has no flash or something. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, I just want to farm, right? Like, I'm not here to, like, babysit this guy. I'm here to, like, carry, farm it up. Like, in fact, he should be roaming quite frequently, right? Like, this is... 
He's not really roaming enough. We push into waves in. I need to clear this. We got 50 seconds on this camp here. Evelyn's bot. I might be able to make a move on top. Yep. She has not been taking her camps. Maybe the Krugs are still up. So she's bot lane with a lack of CC. So we can tell she didn't do camps because she has two camps less of CS than me. So there's a good chance that her Raptors and her Krugs are up. So we're going to go try and clear those. There they are. More farm for me. What in the what? What did you? How is she already here? What in the? What, she was just bottom. She just like ran straight up here. Oh my goodness! All right. So the clear explanation there is that obviously I walked past a ward on my way to Evelyn. Please don't hit that blast plant. Okay, good. Yeah, so I obviously walked past a ward, which encouraged Evelyn to go from her bot side up to the um, Raptors. So I should have swept on my way there. Something to think about. Um, the dragon is up, but personally, I don't like doing those early dragons. Unless I have a lot of pressure, which I kind of do on my bot lane. I got really lucky with this bot lane this game. Okay. My eyes are clouded. So we're going to keep killing that. Oh, man. Rampage on Evelyn. She is going to be a big problem at this rate. I can feel it. Like, I hate Evelyn, man. Evelyn also kind of G pretty hard with the alpha drop. I mean, she's pretty pushed. All right, I'm coming. All right, not bad. That was a good kill. That was a good double. I don't know where Evelyn is. The thing is, if I go for dragon here, they're going to know I'm here. Right? I don't think we should go for this. Uh, I mean, if Jen's here, then yeah, let's go. But the problem is, is if Evelyn comes wandering up into here with the Ari and the Cahoots. I want to continue my clear. A little bit hesitant to walk this way. Oh yeah, Evelyn's definitely doing that, huh? We can actually hear if she's doing it. It'll do the little eye sound. Well, she's not doing it, guys. But we knew that because we didn't hear the little eye sound. Right? Nice little trick. Um, I don't think this guy realizes Evelyn is, like, going top. Like, I don't know how many times I had to ping it for this dude. Like, I actually pinged it a lot. Like, that Like that was that was a lot of pings. Like... <laughs> I think I've walked past a pink in that bush. I actually can't tell. Is she gonna greed for this? No, but I will. Yeah, there's absolutely no reason Gwen should have died to that. Like, I, I I, could not have literally pinged that more than I had. That could not have been more clear. Oh, I hit the wrong one. All right, was Ziri dead? I mean, this still doesn't open up an opportunity for... Considering that was warded. Oh, that auto. Man, that auto. Mm. But, I mean, that was a lot of ignite anyway that was still on me. All right, folks. So it looks like my camera just died on me. And uh, we have to play it camless right now. Oh, man. What that basically means is that I'm hiring somebody to win this last game for me. <laughs> basically. There we go. I mean, I shared some gold. I would like to continue pushing here. Maybe the Jin is getting fed enough. I mean, the thing is, is I never feel like Jin has total carry potential, you know? Especially if he's against Evelyn, which can just one-tap him. Man, that Evelyn is just like, she's, I'm, I'm really scared of her from going bot lane here. 
Like she can do some work in the bot lane here. Um. Okay, with Evelyn in top lane, this is my chance to go for this. Or maybe I'll go bot. I'll go for this. Unfortunately, we have the legendary Evelyn. This Gwen does not watch the map at all, so. Wait, I don't have Dustblade yet, huh? Man, I cannot move. Wow, that was such a long... That was like so long on that charm. Two seconds, two full seconds there. Yeah, so Nunu has half the CS of mid, exactly half, and he's getting out roamed pretty hard, which means that he's not actually doing his job. Uh, Nunu is basically dead weight this game, and it's going to come down to probably me and Jin to carry. Mostly Jin, but maybe me. Actually, I have the same amount of kills as Jin almost. I thought Jin was doing better than that. He only has four kills, guys. This is a problem. Like, Evelyn will be a problem. Series 06. Plus, a lot of our kills aren't even worth that much because they're all in Ziri. Right? Uh, well, we're going to have to make it happen, guys. Make it happen. What do we got here? I guess I go up here and we see if we can try and stop this. Oh, no. I can't. I can't stop chasing. Oh, that was so unlucky, man. This game is so un... That was 500 gold extra. Well, um... I mean, hopefully we kind of scale into the late. Man, I don't even know. Like, Evelyn is just going to be such a pain to deal with. I did no damage either. Um... I mean, Gragas is quite fed too. Gragas can just one tap. Like, if he really wanted to, he can one tap fully. Like, I've actually seen some Gragas carry games. Like, really hard. An ally has been slain. Can I even do this? Well, I got his flash. Oh, that hit me. Oh my goodness. Ari might be coming. I mean, I can't, I can't move here. No help from Gwen, no help from Nunu. Well, guys, we're gonna have to pray. I'm telling you, not the right build for this game, but we're already full committed here. Already full committed. Mmm. Is there a reason my Nunu is going for my blue buff? Like, what are you doing, homie? Bro, like, what are you doing? Like, hey, I'm tilted, dude. I'm just going to go to mute him. Like, full tilted, man. He hasn't really done anything. He's sitting on 70 CS. He doesn't roam. And he's taking my blue. And he's taking my Krugs. This, uh, this really... Uh, this is really looking like a not so hot game. Winstead again. He's getting four man. I don't know if we can do this. I mean, Jin just kind of chilling, dude. I mean, I can dust blade slower, but like, you know. Oh, we got him. Nice, good job. It really sucks whenever games come down to you playing against your teammates, right? But that is the core of League of Legends, guys. That is the core of League of Legends. Well, there goes my blue buff. I mean, Evelyn is such a noob stomp champ. She does so well in the people that don't pay attention. She doesn't even have a Majais. <laughs> she is just absolutely dominating my team here. Let's get some wolves. Well, I did manage to pick up a blue. Maybe Ziri's worth money again? She did get a lot of CS. I got her shield. Another legendary kill on Evelyn. 
Uh, yeah, we gotta back off. Evelyn's 13 kills now. Nunu's coming for my red. That sucks. All right, Evelyn is gonna die finally. Noise to shut down by Jin. That's actually what we wanted. If anybody had to get it, we want the Jin to get it. Um, hmm. Let's see what we can get. So we gotta start working towards this Blade and Rune King. Ooh, we got another one. Oh, he might kill the Yumi too. Oh, he didn't do enough damage. That's rough. I mean, Arya is kind of split pushing bottom. I, I want to go. I want to go get that dragon. We got like 11 seconds on the Evelyn. We gotta hurry. Like we got five seconds on Evelyn. I don't. I don't want her. I want the dragon. I want the dragon, dude. I don't care about her. Oh, there's no. Oh, there's no blast plant. Oh, there's no blast plant. I mean, Evelyn is without a doubt coming. Bro, like... <laughs> that did so much damage. Thank God for that Lulu shield. I was so dumb without it. Yeah, I gotta leave that crab. Oh, goodness. Oh, Nunu is about to die to her, huh? Well, I mean, he's still alive for now. Oh, he did. They have Rift coming in. I am so tempted to go on that, but without any vision on the Evelyn, we don't know where Evelyn even is at. Oh, there she is. She's mid. Where's everybody? Oh, Rift. Okay, um, I almost have enough for this Blade of Rain King. I'm slightly short. It'd be nice to get it out of the way. Yeah, this build is pretty greedy, by the way, guys. That's a pretty greedy build here. Mm. I'm down to go through the jungle, but I'm like 525. You know, if I had a blue buff or something, I would have enough, <laughs> right? Uh huh. We're gonna wait just a second. We need vision on that Baron, of course. Just checking. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna go back for the Blade and Ring King and grab a pink. We need that pink for Evelyn. So we just need to put a pink like somewhere in our jungle so Evelyn doesn't come running through with the Yumi. Right, because Yumi gets the benefit of being in Viz too, right? And we gotta stick with Lulu, because Lulu is like literally the only thing that can save anybody. Like I can't be in the jungle by myself now. Well, there goes my pink. That was fast. Well, I missed. Oh. Does she have ghost? Why? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we can do Baron off of that. We can do Baron. We can do Baron. This is this is an Ari right there. Ari. Okay, not bad. I mean, no Evelyn. Means this should be a free Baron, hopefully. As long as I don't miss. Yeah, I just waited. I waited for that full Ari combo to hit before I even thought about smiting that. There's no way I was going to risk that. There is no way I wanted to risk that. I have lost so many barons in my life that there's just, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna lose it like that. No, no, no. All right, I need to go back and we need to get a stopwatch. Okay, so we got the stopwatch. Another pink ward has been acquired. And we'll just put that on key. Actually, let's put that on like key five here. So I don't actually, you know, I'll put it on key one. So we don't accidentally utilize it somewhere, huh? 
Okay, so we got lots of pink wardage. Let's put a pink ward right here. Just so that we have vision of the Evelyn. Like, we have full coverage in our bot side. Man, why is she so greedy? There's no way she has Evelyn here because we have a pink behind her. Unless Evelyn came up through the backside. Dude, she has missed. Ev oh, there's Evelyn. Um, uh, we need Jen. Yeah, I kind of figured he'd be there. I mean, this ward's pretty protective as well. Wait, did she just dash through there? I'm here if I'm needed. Man, stopwatch is great, huh? Did I go over the wall? Oh, he hit her, but it wasn't enough, huh? I don't think we got her. Oh, we can get Dragon off of this. Oh, Jen, please. Oh, you lovely human being. I'm giving him the thumbs up. I'm in it. I'm in it. Guys, I'm feeling the... <coughs> The pulsating in the chest. The promos must come to an end. Though I'm not sure if that's a good sign. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good sign. Alright, not too bad. Lulu the hero of this game here, guys. Yeah, I don't want to let that dragon accidentally shoot and smack her, huh? Yeah, I need to seek the doctor here. I'm going to grab me another camp here. Give it all for me. Um, hmm. Okay, bro. Sure, you take it. Whatever, man. Dude, everybody thinks I'm just their, their weenie, man. Everybody thinks I'm their weenie. Okay, so we managed to pick up the Guardian Angel components here. Uh, and then after we use Stopwatch, we will full upgrade it into a GA. Oh, Evelyn is running around with Yumi, man. Why can I not move? What is this, like, movement here? The throws by the enemy, guys. The throws. I'm loving it. This is feeling more and more, more and more like a win. That's why it's feeling like a win, isn't it? And with that, ladies and gentlemen, you know exactly what you're getting. Well, we did it. We hit Masters, and next up is Grandmasters. How much, wait, it gave me one LP for free. Thank you, game. Next up, we'll do it. And thanks for watching. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, check out this video over here where you can see some more excellent Gi gameplay where I struggle to climb.